happy readers! Today we're going to be talking about Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marsden. This is a part of Australian YA Month which is hosted by the great Carla of the Crooked Bookshelf. Crooked Shelf. Crooked Shelf. She runs a great blog and so I will post a link to that below and she's just trying to get the word out about awesome novels and so I definitely want to just kind of help with that. So I'm going to be reviewing a lot of the books from the Tomorrow series and so Here's the first one, so yeah. So Tomorrow When the War Began is about a girl named Ellie, and um, she and her friends were um, living in this, like, kind of country town, and they all kind of live on farms or have some sort of, like, small business in a way. And um, she's, they're all teenagers, and they all decide that one weekend they're going to go camping out, like, way out there somewhere. They call it the bush. I'm just going to explain it to you that that's what it means, go way, way out into nowhere land. And when they come back they find out that their parents have been held captive and uh, their land has been invaded by some nameless, faceless, evil country. And there's not quite an end in sight. So they have to fend for themselves and they have to, you know, blow up riding lawnmowers and trucks and crazy, crazy things. My first impression of this novel is that I was baffled because I've never read anything like this. Uh, like, she kind of writes militantly in the first book. It's just very kind of like almost a military diary of today we blew up such and such. But then like near the end of the novel she gets into kind of like romance and who she likes and you know who her best friends are and like just appreciating the people that she is surrounded by. So as you would imagine there's a lot of like violence and not guts and gore but you know they're they're Two of her friends get shot in the book and um, just crazy stuff happening, but not in a ridiculous sense. It's in an unimaginable, you know, th this other country has invaded your country and you have to fend for yourself. And so I thought it was a very interesting thing to explore was just like how would teens react to this and um, they like at the beginning of the book it made it seem like she was kind of immature. not. Yeah, like, kind of, like, just, like, carefree-ish, more than immature, and, um, so as the, the book goes along, she's a little bit more, like, you know, people are gonna have to die in this whole thing, uh, if you want to call it a war, or whatever it was, um, because it seemed like there was just, like, one force that was oppressing, and there wasn't really another force really fighting back, in a way, it was just kind of like, we're invading this land! and you just have to deal with it. Like I said, uh, it was just a really interesting and I would say original idea of seeing how teens would react to this kind of thing because they do have to fend for themselves and they do have to, you know, they go back to um, the place that they were camping at. It's called Hell and so I like to say they found heaven in Hell because, you know, it's kind of like their little place off to the side where nobody's gonna go. It's like they have to go down this like sharp cliff um, to get to where they are pretty much, or steep steps, but I mean like it was, it was pretty crazy like where they have to go down and you know, yeah. It has that first, like that reaction that I had of Hunger Games when I first read it was just like, whoa, because I never experienced a book like that, just because there was so much, that, like there was like a ton of violence because a lot of it's just kind of them chilling out and just kind of regaining focus on what they need to do to survive and what they need to do to possibly help their families get out of the the showgrounds because um when they were camping there was like this whole um i guess a sort of like a fair that they were doing like a once a year fair and they bring in their cattle and this that and the other and um that's when the invasion happened and they just kind of like circled everybody up into these showgrounds which is kind of smart but crazy. Something that I wasn't too particularly fond of, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but yeah, she um she talks very like militantly almost. Or it's just kind of like almost emotion. No, there's like emotion, but it's just like so very like matter of fact. Um, I don't know if that's like not, I don't think it's an Australian thing because I think as she went on, she kind of like loosened up a bit and talked about you know love and her friends and how much she um, like cared about the people around her and how much she respected them. Something that I, I don't know how I feel about it and I hope that it kind of gets cleared up later on, I don't know, but the nameless, faceless invasion type thing, like they hear the airplanes and they see the soldiers, but like make up a country and say this evil power, this is the reason why they're doing this, but it was just kind of like they wanted to take over, so they did. 
And so I don't, I don't know if there's some alternate explanation for that. It's an interesting story, so I'm sticking with it. I actually got, if you watch my haul in my mailbox thing yesterday, um, I did, two days ago, um, I got Dead of Night, so I'm gonna continue reading this series and see how it goes, and I think it's going pretty well. Um, I'm on page 36 in this, and so I, I, th I think it's getting good. I think it's getting really good, and I think the first one is good, and it's enough to spark your interest in the series, and then later on, I think the story is gonna really pick up, and so I have faith in it. Question of the video, um, have you read any of these books? If so, what'd you think of it? Was your mind blown? Did you think that it was a good story or not? Have you read any other Australian novels? I'm trying to read uh, Justine Larbo Larbo last year? I, I can say it fine when I'm not on camera, but, you know, her name, it's it's like my last name where it's just like Valish and people are like Valish or Valish. But yes, I'm trying to read a, like a variety of different Australian novels. There aren't very many in my library. I Somehow they have all of these novels, but as far as like, um, I, I looked up some others. They had like a lot of Mar Mar Marlene, Melina Marchetta. I have words that are coming out of my mouth. I'm good at speaking. I'm good at reading, but I'm not good at speaking. That's my problem. So yeah, before I trip over any more words, I hope you have a great and fantastic great read day. Yeah, there we go. Um, I hope you read a lot of Australian novels this month. If not, I hope you're doing some graphic novel November. Get out there, read some good books, and uh, see you later.